in maps and relief the representation of the feature are very important uh, now these features are actually related with the natural phenomena as well as human phenomena so both phenomena are actually over the surface of the earth and uh, we call them the natural environment and human environment so uh, before going to discuss the the techniques of representation of the uh, relief features we must know what is elevation so the term elevation means the height of the land surface above a fixed plane so this fixed plane uh, may be the sea level uh, the height is measured in feet or any other uh, unit again the term uh, relief is very important so before going to discuss the representation of relief features we must know what is relief the term relief is used in a systematic sense uh, it indicates the variation in the nature of the land surface it shows the heights of the uh, highlands and as well as the lowland like uh, the uh, the mountains of pakistan um, are to the north of the country so most of the north of the country is covered with highlands uh, it uh, may be uh, from 20000 to um, 25000 feet above sea level but uh, uh, the lahore city is uh, at 700 Uh, feet above sea level so uh, gradually the heights are uh, decreases uh, when you are moving from north to the south of the country now this slide shows not only the lowland areas of the region which is closer to the sea level but it also shows the highlands of the area so all the heights are from sea level so this is actually the area which is called the sea level every country has its own sea level is called the datum of the country now this map is actually the relief map of the world it covers not only the places of the high lands of the earth but also the low lands it also shows the shallow area of the water which is closer to the continent and the deep land of the oceans which is to the center of the ocean now the countries which are actually under the highland areas are in brown color so like this is actually the south of the china and north of the india north of pakistan is covered with highland but the green color shows the most of the land which is under lowland areas so all the heights are actually in different colors but um, the darker shade show when you are dealing with the water it shows the deep water the light shade of the water shows the shallow water but in land the darker color shows the highlands and the green color shows the lowland areas now when we are representing the relief feature uh, over the map uh, there are two methods uh, the first method is called the mathematical method and the second method is called the pictorial math uh when it is actually uh we are giving uh, the more or less true visual picture of the elevation and relief we are using these two methods in mathematical method the contours are very important contouring is the standard method of representing relief or actually the imaginary lines of the ground joining places of same height above sea level these lines are fixed by accurate surveys now all the lines which are actually in circle are called the contours these are in circle and joining places of same height but it start every contour start from mean sea level the second uh, circle is higher than the previous one is it has a height of 10 feet then 20 feet above sea level 30 feet above sea level 40 50 and 58 is the highest point of the area so you can see the true representation of the contours which are actually depicting the mound of a place every contour has a surveyed point so that's why is 
true representation of the relief feature. The contour interval of a contour map is the difference in elevation between successive contour lines. Between two contour line is actually called the contour interval. So if we have a difference of 10 feet above sea level, so the contour interval is 10 feet. If it has 100 feet, so contour interval is 100. Now this is the slide of a, a given place where we have two places regarding the contour interval. This area has the steep slope. It means the contour interval or the distance between two contour is low, but this shows the gradual slope. It means the contour interval between the two contour line is high. So it means the space between the two contour is actually dealing with the slope of the area. The next method of representation of the relief feature is the spot height. It gives the actual height of the place above sea level fixed by surveys. They show a height values. So this may just say that the contour lines hai, usme space baaz mein zyada hai aur baaz mein kam hai. Lekin uh, iski jo important spots hai jinki height like city ho sakta hai ya wo koi peak ho sakti hai jise hum mountain top bhi keh sakte hain ya koi aisa place jo ke administrative point of view se bahut important hai to uski hum height jo hai jab wahan likh dete hain to that is called the spot height of the area so but all are controlled by the contouring so those are actually the true heights of the area which are surveyed by certain techniques the central part of this area is under gradual slope so it may be covered with agricultural land but sides are actually under high steep slopes or which are under drainage system so the valleys are there or streams are going toward the from top to the bottom of the area in tamam heights ko hum uh, words mein likh sakte hain to is waqt hamare samne jo slide hai usme hum dekh sakte hain ki ek uh, spot ya ek aisa jagah jahan par uh, building maujood hai uski height ko wahan par mention kiya gaya hai 